meeting to address concerns at the state's prison system filling a meeting room in Sioux Falls recently. Facilitators of the group South Dakotans impacted by incarceration tell us the first meeting is just the beginning. First Alert investigator Beth Warden was there and breaks it down for us here at 5 o'clock. Hello, Beth. Hello there, Brian and Andrea. As I looked around the room at those attending the meeting, I saw the faces of loved ones of inmates, DOC employees, law enforcement, along with current and former legislators. It became a safe place to share and listen to concerns of those who live or work behind bars. The people in this room have questions about what happens behind the prison gates in South Dakota. I don't think we have appropriate resources and support systems in place for folks upon release. South Dakotans impacted by incarceration founder and wife Erin Vickers wants the questions and concerns about the Department of Corrections to come forward. We have been for the last almost three years told to be quiet, told to just take the hits that we're getting and it's time for us as families, as staff, as loved ones to be heard. The meeting was a sounding board and a springboard to collectively raise issues. The list of concerns includes a lack of communication from prison management to both inmates and staff, repeated lockdowns, medical treatment availability, food availability and safety, reduction of phone call time, and a reduction of classes or inmate jobs. For every resident of the prison is a group outside who are also affected. Impact from the inside, it's felt outside too. And so transparency with communication announcements would really do a lot of good for the loved ones that are also feeling the impact of the incarceration as well. Hurdle Life Coach Foundation's Terry Liggins helps former inmates re-enter into a new world. The perspective that is often underrepresented as it pertains to incarceration in South Dakota, we hear from a lot of different actors and representatives, but it's not all the time that you can hear from the loved one of the incarcerated. A sign of mutual respect for all came as a loved one of an inmate voiced concern for DOC staff to safely make it back home at the end of their shift. Both current and former legislators took in the concerns. I always think it's important for state legislators and really any person who participates, participates in local government to be available for questions, to be available for constituents to talk to you about issues that matter to them. And as the representative where the current penitentiary exists, I know that this is a really important issue for my constituents and not just my constituents who are able to vote, but my constituents who are currently incarcerated and unable to vote for me. And facilitators tell me that they are working on the discussions from the meeting and developments that continue to reveal themselves. Reports are coming in to the group that all three sweat lodges, which are considered to be a church for the Native American people, have been torn down at the penitentiary. A second meeting is planned for next month, and I will let you know the date and more details as soon as everything's confirmed. Brian and Andrea.